Good morning everyone. Today we are off to oh darkness. <laughs> We're off to SeaWorld and we've also got our magic bands and our universal tickets because I don't think we'll be here the whole day. And then we've got options this afternoon. Just make sure we've got magic everything. Mayhem. So let's head out. Weather is a bit overcast. Oh no, it's only over there. Oh, oh sunglasses in the car. Okay. Right, so this is our last full day of having the car. Um, with the tickets we got, we get free parking at Bush Gardens and Universal, um, SeaWorld. So we're going to be using that today and parking at SeaWorld and then wherever else we end up after that, probably have to pay for. Unless we go to Disney, then we can just park at Disney Springs. But yeah, um, weather today is meant to be like sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy. That's okay because this has got a big old wet ride. I've got my poncho, change of shoes. Adam, oh, you've got your swim shorts, haven't you? Yeah, um, let's make sure I change this time. Yeah, do you want to change into them for the water ride and change back out when we... Yeah. Good plan, good plan. So, uh, I said, but, um, SeaWorld's about 15 minutes, if that, away from where we are currently. So, we're going to just head over there now and go on some new rides. I didn't go on my last trip, um, but they've got some new roller coasters in since we last went. So, I'm excited to see... What, what was the big one, Mako? So let's try Mako. Accidentally left the camera in the car. Is that car on? I'm just overheated. Um, yeah, left the camera in the car, so we had to walk back. But we're at SeaWorld. It's parking. You say walk back. <laughs> we're half. <laughs> we were halfway down this walkway, and I was like, ah, the camera. Helicopter. I can't see it, it's up there. Good. Um, yes. So as I said, we got free parking, so it should be $25. So technically we've saved us some $50 from here in Bush Garden. We are playing the game. <laughs> we're playing the game. So we're gonna do have you got an idea of what you want to do first? Because again we don't have a plan for this park. No. I cannot remember the layout of SeaWorld. Oh, we'll have to see if the um they put the queue times up yet because yesterday will. they didn't do it for like an hour. Yeah, they don't check your bags at see well, you just go for a metal detector and they're like, yeah, fine. Okay, I mean, sure. Is real? No. Nor are the whales that are in there either. You'd probably be better off on the other side, Adam, won't you? Oh, over here. Different types of seals. Okay. Because, yeah, very choppy. Let's get a photo. A bit more of a queue to get in here. So they've only got like four or five things open. Come on, SeaWorld, get on it. We go this way around. Yeah. So everyone like, else will be going this way around. Go the beluga first. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sold on seeing a beluga first. So if we go through, walk up to Manta and then go right and go down here. Well, oh, yeah. Should we do Manta first? Yeah. See what the queue's like. There's a good oh, sign. Oh, yeah, cool. there's the one to get your photo with. That's the ticket. Oh, they've got a SeaWorld Rescue store. I want to go in there later. Yeah, well, this is Manta if you want to do this one first.
probably pick the best time of the day to do it because when we joined the queue it said 25 minutes now it's saying 50 which is good what did you think where are we going so it was better than galactica yeah that first like loopy bit inversion yeah makes my tummy feel funny it's really good really intense probably my second favorite inversion of the trip after that ridiculously intense one yesterday some oh, yeah, yeah. flamingos over here. Adam, what do flamingos eat? Shrimp. Oh wait, no. Is that why are they pink? Yeah. Yeah, because they diet, well they eat shrimp. Okay, I can't remember how I went exactly. That's thing. So I've got my GoPro on my wrist now, so that I can film. We got um, the chest mount for Manta. Did you want to film it coming around? Take a picture? No, I, really, I got bits of the sign. Okay. As I was saying, we've done um, Manta. We're going to head over and do Wild Arctic in that side and then go try and go opposite the crowds, hopefully. Everything else is like a five minute wait, so we should be absolutely fine. What's in here? Ducks. Ducks. Get ducks at home. Oh, it's like a flippy board. Right, it's a ruddy duck. Ruddy ducks. Stealing my bread. <laughs> Red haired, a white faced whistling duck. So the One Ocean show is not running today, which is fine. We're not really here for the shows. We're mainly here for the rides. Fountains and ducks. That's where they used to do the Baywatch show, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think so. And then over here. Yeah, this. You used to be able to cross this lake. I'm glad you can cross this lake because it was a pain to go around. Next stop is World Arctic. I like these umbrellas. They're like designed like candy corns for the Halloween event. Can you see them? There's one there and there's one there. Oh yeah, they're cool virtually. <laughs> yeah. So the candy trails is on the weekends, but we found out, yes, well, we didn't even need to really go to Bush Gardens yesterday in the end, but it was nice not to be pressured. But yeah, if you come to SeaWorld at the weekend, they have um, like Halloween events. This way. Really quiet at this end of the park. Yeah, it is, isn't it? God, this, do you remember this? This ride's been here forever, isn't it? Yeah, this, well, I can tell you when it opened. Oh. But this was, I've been on this, so that's how old it is. And I've been on this the first trip, so that was nice. Yeah, I remember this being here for like. So, again, this is probably one of the first. Um, first simulators I've ever done. This. Do you want to take a picture? They have an ice wall in the wall here. <laughs> we made it to base camp. So, we're going to see the animals. What's in here? What's in here? What is it? Is it a beluga? Oh my god, what is it? Is it a beluga? Is it a beluga? Yeah, oh my god! There was a seal in with the belugas. It's nice to be there. No, there wasn't. There was. I'll show you. They eat seals. Yeah, I don't know that they eat seals, but I don't think also that you're. There is one in there. Where are we looking? Have you seen a seal? No. There is a seal in there. I don't think there is. There is, I saw him. You wait. I'm waiting. I don't see a seal. There. They're down there. Oh, bloody hell. Alright. See? Alright, he's not lying. They can't just swim across. No, I don't think they're in the same. We'll see when we're downstairs, I guess. Maybe they what, can they go through? Oh yeah. So can the belugas go around there? What's he doing? I'm not trying to eat the seal. I don't think belugas eat seals, they don't eat fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's two of them in there. Mm. I remember this exit really specifically as a kid. Don't know why. Dee dee. Oh, it's beluga tops, look. Should I just get a beluga? Should I get this? A beluga! How much the beluga is? He's a $40 beluga. To be fair, he's $10 cheaper than, uh, more expensive than my Mickey, uh, my Mexican Donald. So this coming up is a new area for me. This is the uh, Sesame Street bit which was open this year was it? Yeah. yeah. Sizzle's new for this year. And there's a little kiddie coaster called is it Grover's Coaster again. 
uh, Grover's Boxcar Coaster, I think. He's going to go do that look. Oh, he's getting photos. He scares me a bit. Oh, he's getting in the bin. Look, he's going in the bin. Oh, God, hide in the bin. Please get it fully in the bin. Oh, he's so cool. find the map so we can work out where's where's good there was a place near the entrance but we're going this way um where's the map do you have the map yeah, yeah. Okay. have a look so we are currently over here so food places there's a oh, pretzel kitchen what's number 20 in purple uh soft serve starbucks 15 shark treats 18 and what's 16 panini shore um there's the voyager's smokehouse or there's pizza or there's somewhere there's expedition cafe pizza oh sorry what are you doing now? i was talking to you <laughs> i was telling you the places we can eat oh you're hungry so there's a yeah there's a waterway grill Let's go there then. Yeah. That's where we're heading next. All right. Let's do that. Brand new. Going to Let's do that then. It's just down here. Are you not hungry? Yeah. Okay. Always hungry. Feels really humid today. I think it's because of the storm we had yesterday. Um, it's due to rain later, but I don't know if we're getting lightning, are we? We getting lightning today? Uh, possibly this afternoon. Right. Let's go past Bert and Annie. We need to go around the side. This area is really cute. I think it used to be um, the like Shamu play area. I think I recognise that coaster. Maybe I could be wrong though. Is that not around here? Yeah, I think that was like the Shamu. Oh, there's a cookie monster! Oh, look at him. I love the Cookie Monster. He's my favourite Sesame um, Street character. Oh, I'm gonna get a picture of him. They seem to be having issues up there with the tills, but I finally got put through. Um, so I've got chicken tenders, chips, and my favourite American Fanta. Uh, I've also got some forks to take back to the room because we've got stuff in the fridge that we've not actually been able to eat. The chicken was alright. Um, it was a bit cold because we had to wait for it because there was the issues with the tills. But chicken is nothing special. Um, next up we're going to go on Infinity Falls. I'm changing my shoes. Adam's going to change his shorts. Then I'm probably going to put all my stuff in the locker because I've got my GoPro. Um, I don't know how wet you get on this one but I feel like it's quite wet looking at the people coming off. So I don't want to risk it. I'll do that now. <clears throat> yeah, you go. Oh, the media shorts. Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to change my shoes and then we'll do this. Adam's been really looking forward to this one, so hoping it's a good ride. I'm not as hangry. I was like literally really hangry a minute ago, but I'm okay now. I was like, I just want to get some food. But yeah, we should have stopped somewhere else, but I've never really ever rated the food at SeaWorld. Maybe I just don't go to the right place. Let's do infinite. She is absolutely soaked. Uh, should have put it, you should have had you on this side though, should I, innit? <laughs> well, you should have told me. Come on again. Oh my goodness.
gonna go around and do it again. Because Adam needs to be more wet. You need to be this side of me as well this time so we can get, get Adam in the shot as well. Let's do it again. Flamingos. Film the flamingos this time. Twice. I think that's probably my favourite like raft type ride ever. Adam is, uh, but you can't see, but you might be able to hear. He's so wet. Feel low vision. Yeah, it's really good. Um, probably is the best rapid. Yeah. Out there, I, I wore a poncho, so I'm like partially wet. My butt's wet, but apart from that, I changed my shoes, so I've got some nice dry trainers on at the moment. 
next we're gonna go to Mako, uh, another new roller coaster for me. And then we need to do uh, the penguins, the Antarctica, whatever it is. And um, then, then Kraken and Joint Atlantis, and we've done everything. So yep. we're gonna probably head to another park after that. Yep. But I do wanna see some of the animals here as well. Yep. Continue walking around. Yep. Not too busy, I mean, if you can see, Everyone, oh, get a good shot here. This just shows you how, like, yeah, it just shows you how, like, crazy it is. I might take a picture. It's a crazy. So good though. Definitely the fastest rapids. Yeah, they are. And they're uh, tropics. Good though, yeah. Well, every time you have to wear a seatbelt, you know it's going to be a bit crazy. Yeah. Right, let's continue. Um, people would probably compare it to flute, uh, Popeyes. Yeah. So the Popeye one, it's all just the effects that get you wet. Whereas on that, it's just the actual... The lift and the drop hill. Well, it's the, the lift and the drop. Flashes. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. The actual weight. Which yeah. I think makes it better. It doesn't rely on just spraying water at you all the way through. Yeah. Because it's so fast, yeah. Oh, the shark encounter's over here as well. I forgot about that. So, yeah, here's Mako. And this is a new one for me. Sarah's first B&M Hyper. Yeah, my first Hyper Coaster. So I'm very excited to try this and see what it's like. Yeah. I've got my GoPro on my wrist. Oh wait, I'll see face upwards, but then I can film it. Let's go. How long has this been here? Uh, I'll tell you. Yeah, give me the face. I want to say like 2000. Four or five years. Definitely wasn't here in 2015. So I'm going to say like 2016. Yep. It's all right. Yeah. Yes. Don't know much about coasters it's unless I'm in Florida. Oh yeah, because the exact size or so, Cool, let's do it. Mako done, now we're gonna come look at some sharks. Calno's raising it. Oh, I love Calno's raising Oh, look at that fish. What's that, a tuna? Uh, oh, okay, they're cute. Oh my god, look at this ray. That's the leopard ray. There's a shark there. That's the cow one, isn't it? Yeah. This fish is huge. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, this is a bar here, look. Let's go around. The entrance is... <laughs> That's a bit morbid, isn't it? I love the fish, please. Yeah, that one in the tank. 
Right, where's this thing? Oh, look, pictures sharks. of sharks. Let's see. Where's the person? Is there a picture of a person? No. So as I was saying, how big a, a hammerhead is, it's nearly the size of the Great White. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah, so what you saw was a... Not on there. Oh yeah, bonnet head. Oh yeah. A little one. Let's go have a look. Okay. Bucket shark. <laughs> little teeny tiny 5.5 inch shark. Little pocket one. Right, shark encounters. Uh, oh, it's around here. Look through there. Shark, 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 shark. Yeah, you go in there, don't you? Why is that not the way in? Why is this the way in? Oh, you're right, sorry. You just cut through the birds going this way. There's a bird. Out. <laughs> these are, are these the endangered ones. I oh, know these are different. These are like spoons. Like spoon yeah, that's what I'm say. Right, let's go see some shucks. Where are the shucks? Oh god, there's one. Oh, it's one huge fish. Oh, look at this one. There were sharks. There are more than 450 different types of sharks. All so different in size, shape, color, diet, Where's the endangered one? The... It's like a sore foot. There it is. It's the endangered one. Yeah. Sharks are found from sandy, shallow beaches to the deep, dark ocean. Where the only light comes from strange sharks and other glowing creatures. It's one on the left. Oh, look at this. They're huge. Oh, that is terrifying. It's tea. So there's no place to hide from a shark's superior sense. Oh. There's a shark down here as well. Bye shark. Oh my goodness. Bye shark. Yeah. It's raining as it has been for quite a lot of today. Um, so I'll keep this brief because I want to get this camera wet. Done the shark encounter after Mako. We're now gonna head around which I don't know which one's first. Is it penguins or probably kraken? I think isn't penguins it? will be last. Penguins I think. Are. I don't know. I think it's kraken will be next. And okay. Atlantis. So let's head around here to Kraken and Jane to Atlantis. Do those. Then Antarctica. Emperor the penguin. I think it's called something along those lines. And then we're done. We're done. We'll probably go to another park after that, depending on what we fancy. We've got our magic bands, got our universe. We have got all of our other tickets that we can just go, use our park. car. Yeah. Okay, let's keep walking around. That's the good thing about SeaWorld compared to Bush is that it's close near to everything. Disney and Universal. Yeah. We're basically in the middle of both, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's near a Disney, but yeah, you can get yeah. to Universal quite easily. We're about to head on a journey to Atlantis and then Kraken. Um, I'll take my GoPro on, but I will leave this camera in this locker here so that nothing happens. I might actually change my shoes because I feel like oh, they'll get wet on Journey to Atlantis. So I'll do that now.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're, they're poster bear, don't they? Atlantis Jam. This is the one I remember getting well on. Oh. And this little one here. Ever time, I didn't know it was going to do that coast. Oh, yeah, I and I was like shocked. Was like, ah. right. I don't know if you can tell I'm really wet, but we've just done a Kraken and well, you would be able to because I filmed it. So, Jack Kraken and a Jones Hill Angus. And now we're doing Adam's final credit for the day, final ride, which is Antarctica. Is it Empire of the Penguin? Okay, I, was, I, I feel like I said that at least once in my like trying to work out what it was. Let's go and get really, really cold and smelly, but also see penguins. Yay. <laughs> right, let's get in. Yeah, let's go. It's time to see the wonders of Antarctica through the eyes of Puck. Water here. Oh, yeah. They're getting fed. Yeah. Let like them run. Go, penguins, go. For this one. There's a pile of fish down there that they haven't eaten. It's down here, guys. 
This is cool, right? Oh, here they come. Found there. There you go, you found it. Kind of. Okay. The camera's really steamed from when we were just in Emperor the Penguin. You're not gonna be able to see me. Ooh, ominous. I'll come back when I'm not steamed up. I'm gonna do a press penny. I want the manatee. This one. Pennies in here. Uh, 25. 25. Penny. Oh. These are some of my train. No, I use mine. Where's my penny? Oh. <laughs> yes. My penny. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It's got my allergies on it. Okay. Okay. Lose it. Okay. Yeah. So the lady was saying that two of these here are propeller boat accidents. There's an orphan that was found after Dorian eating in the mud. Um, so they're all here to be sort of healed the baby will stay until it's I think should be three or six and at least right. three and at least six hundred pounds and then their aim is to get them all back into the wild but you can see on this one Leslie she had the like the cut on the top from the boat and then one of them had flotation issues but I think that's all fixed now so the little tiny one is the orphan and is trying to stick with the bigger one which is Leslie and she's having none of it which is why she's running away and there's one down here. And there's one right here. It's a bit deeper, this board. I don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, there's two. There's one down there. Oh, so there's quite a few. So, yeah, I guess you can see one of them. You can see all the white on it. That must be from propellers. Yeah. It's just scars. It's yeah. Scars. Isn't it? Yeah, a few of them got some scars. Oh, look. Did you see that? They must be able to hold their breath for a long time. Yeah. Here he comes. Yeah, these ones are moving around quite a bit, aren't they? Oh. Silly manatee. Boop. We've got a Shamu ice cream. Adam got an uh, ice cream sandwich. $10.10 .10 for both of these, though. Mm. Which is crazy expensive. Yeah, I got my $5 out. Oh yeah, well, no, it wouldn't have been five dollars for sure. Sarah's gonna touch her ray. No. Why? You said no. You said five years that you were. They're soft. Your watch hand, Adam. Use your other hand. This guy. Oh, he wants a cuddle. We're done at um, Sea World today. We have just come out, and it looks like there's going to be a storm. We can always go get a drink somewhere if you want, like between here and there. Stop at McDonald's or Starbucks just to, to get a drink. No, well, if it's a storm about to come, do you want to do a bowl? Probably will be closed. Um, Let me check the weather. What we can do tonight if you want. After we've done Universal, we can do the golf in Universal. Okay. Yeah? Is that that's open for Alexa? Like, no. Ignore's the other one. Okay. Um, but that's open until like 11 pm. Alright. We can do that. It's open with City Walk. So we can go do yeah, the ride to so Universal and then go do some things with City Walk. Yeah, okay. Well, Universal is free parking. After six. After six, and it's now half past four, so we've got an hour and a half to do something. Do something yeah. But we could go back in there, but all the rides have just shut. I think it's oh, it's starting to rain. Should so... we go to the car? It's starting to rain. Yes. Let's go to the car. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We're in the car now because uh, it has just started raining. All the as Adam was saying just before we left, all the outside roads and rides are now closed, which makes it as a storm in the area. Um, so we can either just go get a drink somewhere. Or we can sit here, or we can go somewhere else. Yeah. What are you fancy doing? I don't know, we'll have to look at the map. 
the map. On map mm. on my phone. And decide what we fancy doing. I'll do that and then we'll come back to you. Actually, it's just, let's do a quick wrap up for Sea World while we're here. Mm -hmm. You really said you really liked it, didn't you? Yeah. Which favourite? I don't think I filmed you talking about Mako and Infinity Falls. Yeah, I really liked both of those actually. Mm. We got front row on Mako, which was really fun. And then we did Infinity Falls twice, one with one lady and then one on our own. Yeah, I would say that both are world class. Oh. Definitely. Worst um, ride, I already know what you're going to say for this one. Penguins? Mm hmm. That throughput on that penguins, they had one car working. And when I came yeah. in 2015, it wasn't great. Um, yeah, I was not impressed with that either. The, um, what's the word? Operations were terrible. Like mm. Sarah said, there was one vehicle working out of five. So they were sending through one vehicle at a time. With eight people on it. Yeah. And it was taking them forever to load the car up. Um, and also I noticed... It's, oh. it's, it's, it, it's really short. It's like two minutes long. Yeah, and I noticed when they were picking the groups that he got two groups of three and then me and Adam and I was like, I know exactly what's going to happen if those two groups of three go in first because two rows of four we're going to end up being sat separately so I went through, that's why I was pushing through quickly oh. I was like, we need to get our seats together otherwise we wouldn't be, we'll be our own But yeah, well, they've got a really good coastal lineup. I thought Manta was really good Yeah, Manta was good um, Kraken's really good Oh, it's going around now, actually, Kraken. Well, that's good, it means still must have um, lost. Journey to Atlantis is really good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. um, so I'm sad that they've got rid of the story. If anyone remembers, it used to be a story about a magical seahorse that you followed to find the city of Atlantis and then the, the sea witch gets you. But that, none of that's there anymore. Yeah, all the... Um, I couldn't believe the amount of airtime I got on Mako. I was on those hills. I was literally out of my seat for like three, four seconds. Yeah, I was like wrapping my legs around the bar thing in front of me because I was scared I was going to fly out my um, seat. I'd say comparing it to Shambhala at Pot of Ventura, which I did last year, I think Mako is better. Ooh, that's saying something because that used to be your favourite ride, wasn't it? Yeah, those rides are really, really good. We really could do with one of them in the UK. Um, mm. If Thorpe Park wants to build one. <laughs> Where Logger's Leap is, that'd be lovely. Going down the back of the park. Um, yeah, it's really. I really enjoy SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. I think they have the more, uh, the rides that I like. They, there's no screens. Yeah, you know? that's a big thing. Which yeah, that's fair enough. There's no interactive rides. <laughs> you know, I don't like rides like that. Um, I like just tra traditional coasters and water rides. Me. What about you? Um. I liked Mako. I yeah, I like I, I like roller coasters, but I'm more of a fan of like the sucker for like the themed slow rides a little bit. But Mako is my favourite here for sure. Right, I'm getting thirsty. Yeah, I think for a, a park that is primarily about its animals, I think its ride lineup is really solid. Oh, and they've got a new coaster coming next year as well. Yeah, another new coaster which looks cool. Uh, multi launch one, icebreaker. Um, that should be fun. Yeah. You'll get to ride it. I will. I'll be riding um, that next year. So you'll have to let me know what it's like. I keep forgetting that I've already said that I'm going with Emma because obviously it's still technically a secret until the video goes up. But at the time will be of afterwards. recording, it is a secret. Yes. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, we saw they were building it, didn't we? It was by the Wild Ark, next to Wild Ark. Yeah, Arctic, which makes sense. Um, where there's a bit of a gap. There's not really anything there. It was the quietest area of the park. So hopefully that should bump that area up. It was just behind the Shamu Stadium, wasn't it? Yes. Um, so hopefully that area can get a bit busier. That's what I like about SeaWorld and Bush as well. They feel less busy when you're walking around them, probably because they are less busy compared to Universal and Disney. Um, where you always feel like you're fighting against other people. You don't really get that feeling at the Bush Sea World Parks. Well, it's interesting to see what Universal's going to be like now, A, later in the evening, and B, when it's not a Friday night's night. Yeah. Cool. Um, it shuts, yeah, Universal Studios shuts at 6 as well tonight, which is really early, No, isn't 7. It? it was 6, wasn't it? 7. Okay. 7, then Islands Adventures at 8. Okay. Otherwise, there'd be no point in just going for one hour for one park. Right, let's get a drink. I'm really thirsty, I don't care where. I just like something to drink. Okay. And then we'll head off to Universal City Walk. Okay. Okay.
Oi. Bye. We were just saying, like over here where we stopped, you can see the Orlando Eye and then the Sky Flyer, is it called? Starfly. Yeah. Starfly, which we were going to do, but. That's the tallest. Adam's. Adam doesn't want to. No. You did Falcon's Fury, so I'm proud of you. And you right. did the Horror Nights. Yeah, exactly. We did good. We did brave, so run a brave pants scared, on the. You were too scared to do Howler Scream. I'm too scared to do that. Sorry. That's fair. Okay, I'll allow it. First Universal parking. Like it. We have impulsively decided to come back to Universal Studios and adventure for the evening. I really wanted the Halloween Horror Nights mug, the really green one last time. I was really sad we couldn't get it, but we're back. So I can go get it. I can go get it. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. If it haven't sold out. But um, yeah. And then we're going to do ET. Maybe do, or do whatever's got a short queue. How really. much do we pay for parking? Nothing. So if you come after 6 pm, parking is absolutely free for Universal. So yeah, we're going to go do some rides and then maybe do some mini golf. Mm. Even have dinner here if we really want. But I assume we're going to get some food. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. But wait, what, where are we parked? ET. ET 261. ET 261. They used to play the music, but they so don't. This anymore. is what I've missed about not driving. You don't get the character parking lots. Yeah. Now we finally got one. Yeah, That's I'm a good excited. Thing about Disney, isn't it? Yeah, you get like the imagination yeah. turn. I suppose at Bush Gardens we were we had a we were cheetah, weren't we? We were. Yes. But yeah, it's exciting not to have to go to the Uber pickup bit. It's really confusing here because there's like three sections and yeah. we have to text you where they are or whatever. Yeah. Let's go. Got my lanyard on. Even though it's not Horror Nights tonight. And a quick tip about if, about the Ubers. Make sure you get all the details off on your phone before you go to the Uber pickup point. Because your Wi-Fi doesn't usually pick it. Yeah. And you, you, your Wi-Fi runs out. Because the Uber pickup point seems to be just outside the Wi-Fi zone for the park. Yeah, it's very annoying. So, in a, if you're not using data, then you also just, make sure you have all the details up first. Yeah, also just to point out, it is free this evening because there's not a Universal Horror Nights night tonight. Yes. If there was a Horror Nights parking, it's not free. Good point. Okay, let's go to E.T.'s home. E.T.'s home planet. Let's go save E.T. E.T. phone home. <laughs> um, Gringotts is 51. Um, it's an inside, but it's an inside rise, aren't they? Yeah. Single rider on mummy is two minutes. <laughs> um, single rider on rip ride rocket, 82 minutes. Single rider. What? That can't be Non-single right. rider, 21 minutes. I suppose it's two, like two, seats of two. Yeah. You don't really need single riders that often. Yeah. Unless you're like, when I can my own. Yeah. Yeah, so here's the goal, down here. So, yeah. I didn't realise I had the single rider lines on here. No, I didn't realise this. Uh, like Transformers single rider, two minutes. Two minutes. Spring got single rider closed. Ah. Uh, probably because the queue's too long, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Most things are about 20 minutes. Alright. Universal Orlando Resort. I don't feel tired, I feel good. I feel ready to take on some more rides and just to enjoy this not leaving at like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. It's starting to rain again. Not having to worry about an Uber. Yeah, not having to worry about the Uber. Leaving when we want. We've got to drop the car back up at 8 a.m. tomorrow, which I'm a bit sad about, but it's fine. I'm out of focus, but just me out of focus. There we go. Um, we got the mug I wanted, so if anyone, I can't remember if I mentioned it in my, in our vlogs from Halloween Horror Nights, I feel like I probably did. I really wanted a particular mug from the event, and the only place I could find it, actually, was the tribute store, and we'd left for this point, and I got it up there, I was like, I want this mug. But anyway, we've come back to Universal and picked it up. Then we were going to go on ET, but it's actually down for the evening now, half an hour left, which is okay. We're going to head over to Islands of Adventure and do the last few rides to that Adam could tick off his list to say that he's done everything in all these parks. Yeah. Which is the Cara Susel and the Storm Riders. Storm Force, oh, yeah, that Storm one. Storm Force Riders. So yeah. we're going to go do those. But we got hit by a bit of a rainstorm coming through, hence why my hair has gone very wet. But it's killed the humidity a little bit, still quite humid though, although it keeps fogging up my camera. 
Still no thunder yet? No, Adam really wants to see a storm, but we've not had one yet. Just annoying British rain. <laughs> yes. Right, let's get over to Ireland. That's it, that was our last visit. To Universal Studios on this trip, probably. Universal Screenios. <laughs> okay. But yeah, bye Universal, it's been fun. Bye. It's been spooky, but it's been fun. I'm excited to come back in May and it not be scary. So I did like Horror Nights, so I definitely think I'd come again. All those maps all got wet. What are they gonna have in May? Nothing. Nothing. Did Just joy. No. No, nothing in May apart from Flower and Garden at um, Disney. Just walking past Toothsome, which is still a really cool facade. I've never eaten in here. Um, but I'll definitely come in with Emma, I think, and even just have a look. Adam, can you get your picture? Yeah. Okay, let's go over to Adam's adventure now for the last hour and 20. I would quite like to do Doctor Doom again. If oh! That's not too cute. Oh! That's a shock. Yes. It's very unlike you. Want to do a droppy, lifty tower? Yeah, well. I like the up ones, I don't like the down ones. Yeah, we can do that. I'm trying to work out this construction wall was here when we came here last. I can't remember. I don't remember it being here. No. What is it for? I don't think it was. Mm, can't remember if I'm honest. Maybe. I don't think it was. In fact, I'm pretty certain it wasn't. Ah, well, there you go. New construction for you. Yeah. Keeping it up to date here, even though this vlog is probably going to go out in like a month's time, <laughs> if not more. Well, I guess it's more Dr. Seuss stuff. Well, they're probably just re. Sometimes they do it because they have to repaint it all quite regularly because it's yeah, so bright. Well, it said the nearest restrooms are located. So, is it the restrooms they're redoing? Oh, I don't know. There is a paper in the front. Can't remember. I'll have to check the map. Five minute wait for the carousel. Another credit for Adam. And then we've only got one more to get. And then he would have fully completed the whole of Ireland's adventure and Universal Studios on this trip. Which is a win. We never do this if the queues were. Do every ride in this park. Yeah, you're almost there. One more after this. But on the carousel, I'll tell you what, these were not easy to get onto. I'm like belted in. I made Adam get on the higher one. So yeah, this is my guy. There he is. Let me go around this side. My bud. I'm not really sure what it is, but as I said, getting on these cars. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to uh, put my knee out. <laughs> it's because mine's got a big butt. <laughs> they're not going for that one. He's got the easier, they're not got back. <laughs> Ready to get off now. Here we are. That actually made me feel a bit sick. <laughs> I think because I was filming and pointing the camera out, I was like staring at everything going around. So I may have to cut that part of the video. It might make me feel homesick. Okay. But last one is the teacups in Marvel. Then we might do Doctor Doom's drop thingy and then Wherever else has not got a queue, considering we've got about 55, 54 minutes left in the park. Yep. Which is good. It's just cool at night. They've turned all the fog machines on, it looks really cool. Extra spooky. Yeah. Extra Kongy. It's a shame Kong wasn't very good, but. No, you had your best run through on it. Yeah, it didn't mean it was good. Like, it was the best run through of that ride. But I still wouldn't go on it again unless I, like, I wouldn't go choose to go on it again. If it said five minutes now, basically, I wouldn't go on it. Okay. Well, I wouldn't go on it. Would you go on it again? No. Exactly. It's like a one and done sort of thing. But ten minutes for Kong. Right. Continue around to Hogwarts, past Jurassic Park. Oh, so far away. Ooh, so I think this is the thing that's going on in Hogsmeade with all the Dementors. I don't see them. All the spooky green lights out. 
Oh, look at the castle. Looks cool. Look out for Dementors. Ah. Oh. So good. Wow. There's a projection. I don't even know how they've done that. How they've got the light in. So it looks like every single room is there. Yeah, yeah. And it's good. Journey. I called it a flight of passage earlier, but actually, we called it. We did for Ben Journey twice in like 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Why don't you tell the viewers what happened? The viewers. So we decided. Well, I didn't want to try single rider, and I was like, That's a stupid idea, because you don't like going on your own. It was two minutes. And um, then. Still And then um, they put us on together, and then it broke down for like five, ten minutes. All the lights came on, nothing. And then as we were coming off. They were like, oh yeah, you can go run again because it broke. So we did it twice and we didn't queue at all, straight on both times. Yeah, and, and then... when we were stuck on the ride, we were stuck like this. At a really weird angle, it's like this. I was like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, for you another ride. Tell the camera the, the angle we were like we were that. Yeah, we were like that. It was uncomfortable for like five minutes. Yeah, my feet went all numb. Um, and then we came outside and the show was still on, so we didn't get a great view of it for like. We didn't have to queue. Or, so it looked so cool through the camera. Yeah. I might have to take a picture of it. Did you take a picture? No, I haven't. I might take one on my phone. Hold on. I'm going to take a picture. Well, I may do. It just looks so insane. Like, it looks so good. They've got all the fog going, it's all eerie around here, I love it. And you can actually just walk around. Oh, she's getting photos. It's very cool. Hagrid's is still going around, and I bet it'd be really cool because all the lights are on the cars, won't they? Yeah, full capacity though, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, well, it doesn't really surprise me too much. I like the sign there, it looks cool. I left my main camera in the car, hence why I'm using the GoPro, but we're in Olive Garden at the moment. Um, we've just polished off some of the breadsticks mm. with the uh, sauces. I've had some of the salads, uh, lemonade, and then we've got a Coke, and then we've got this little touch screen, which I've not seen before. So we're looking yeah. at pudding, is because we um, have voucher codes for two, three desserts. So we're gonna probably have those, and if whatever we don't eat, we can just take back to the room, and it can join the other snacks that currently really live in our fridge. <laughs> How was your breadsticks? Uh, really, really good. I've heard a lot about these breadsticks. Yeah. A lot of good things. We're living up to the hype. Yes, they're not breadsticks. They're like garlicky. Well, they're, they're not like garlic, long, are they? Thin dough balls. Yeah. That's how I would describe them. That's exactly what they're like. Yeah. Delicious. So you don't expect breadsticks like we get in the UK, where they're just long like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're like from. They're, yeah, they're just like. Long dough balls, yeah. Yeah, good, good, right. Well, I've ordered the chicken alfredo and you've ordered the taste of Italy, which I've heard is really good. Yes, which is the lasagna, small portions of lasagna, chicken palm, chicken palm, and um, alfredo. Pasta. Oh, the alfredo, like mine. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's see what happens when it comes. It came and I forgot to start filming. I've cut mine up quite a bit, but I've got the chicken alfredo and it is a huge portion. Here's my hand. Now Adam's got his taste of Italy. Mm. What's that one on the end? Lasagna. Lasagna, alfredo, the chicken palm. Okay. Mm. So we're back from uh, going to Olive Garden. 
I'm both absolutely shattered. I went, I was so tired driving, I went the wrong way like four times. So I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow for Hollywood Studios, but I'm very, very tired. So good night. Say night, Adam. Night. Night.